Good morning, you guys. Today we are starting the day early. It is about 8.30 in the morning and um, we have a video for you guys today because we have been getting so many questions in the comments and in our DMs about how we move our vending machines. So we have actually been needing to do a few switches with our locations. We have one machine that's not working. We have another machine that it's really, really good and it's a USI. It's working in perfect condition and we have it in a location where it's not selling so much so we're gonna take that one out of there we're gonna take it to a location that's selling a lot a lot of drinks and we want to show you guys how we move our vending machines we're gonna show you guys the guy we use to move our vending machines and obviously I will tell you guys later on how much we pay because obviously we do have to pay to get our machines moved since we don't move them ourselves so that's what today's video is about we're gonna get going to our first location we have to meet with our guy at 9 30 so we're in a little of a rush but yeah let's go get this video started um, please, if you haven't already, subscribe, like, and comment, and let's go. <laughs> you guys, we just got in the bus because we're gonna go, we have to empty out the um, machines before they get moved because obviously they're heavier when they're full of product. And so we're in the bus today and I'm just sitting back here and I'm wearing this jacket, okay? I haven't worn this jacket, I think, since like January, February was the last time I wore it and i wore it in a video like i know that was the last time i wore it because i haven't worn it in forever like today i was like oh i'm gonna wear this jacket it's cold and i haven't worn it and i'm like looking through my pockets to find um like my like where to put my phone and stuff and look what i found you guys i found a stack of money in my pocket this little side pocket right here like i'm just like looking into my pockets like hmm, i'm gonna put my phone over here and then i literally found a little stack of money and it's all once which means it's from one of our vending machines obviously like i don't know i must have gone to a location with ale and i don't know i don't understand because we always put the money together in like an envelope and count it so i don't know what happened i don't know why i put it in my pocket i forgot i put it there and yeah i just found it <laughs> stack of money <laughs> lucky me anyways you guys we're gonna put gas and we're gonna um get to the location as soon as possible because i hope there's no traffic you guys it's like i don't know tuesday morning we'll see how long it takes to get there a few moments later okay you guys so we are here at the bank these are the empty cranes that we have and then this is the vending machine that we're going to be pulling out of here um because it's a really good machine you guys and this is the only product that sell here literally like so we're going to actually bring in a single price machine here and we're gonna be taking this one that's multi-priced to another location, our RV location that obviously does a lot better. So really quick, we have to empty it out because um, Eric, the guy that moves our machine is actually already here, so. We gotta be quick.
the machine we are pulling out of here. Okay. We pull that. Putting this machine here and that machine is going to our next location um, in total we're moving three machines today so we're switching two of them out like we're switching this other one this one with another one and then the one that we have at the other place we're gonna be taking back home to our garage because it needs to be fixed one hour later Okay, you guys, so we are now here back at the bank. We are waiting for Eric. He went to go grab another vending machine. We actually didn't go with him to that location because um, he was just picking it up. It's a smaller one and loading it to the truck. We're going to take that one back to our house and keep it in the garage until Ali can take a look at it. We have to see what the issue is. It's something wrong with the cooling, with the thermostat. We're not sure. But we are bringing the machine that was at the RV back to this location here at the bank. Um, so that's the switch that we did, basically. We just had to move around three vending machines to switch two. So right now we're just gonna wait for Eric. He's gonna get here. We're gonna unload the blue one really quick and then take the other one back home and that will be it. But basically, you guys, it's... Um, it's him that does it for us like he makes it really really easy as long as the machines are already empty today He actually had to wait for us because we had to empty him out right before he got there But he does it all for you. Um, Ale obviously helps him because He's here and he can help but if I'm by myself and we have to get a machine move like he does it for you so he's very worth the $75 that he charges and today was a lot of driving around it was a lot of time and he's been very patient with us so that is one of the good things that um you know we like about having Eric as the guy that moves our vending machines because vending machines are heavy and they're not easy to move around you guys so if you don't have a truck yourself to move it um definitely recommend you find somebody that's good that's gonna be patient with you that helps you that makes it easy for you um because it is it is a pain in the butt you guys but anyways we're just gonna wait here for him and then we're just gonna get the last machine switched out and then that will be it a few moments later so they just set the machine here fit fine it fit perfectly through the doors we didn't have to remove any doors it was really easy and fast and now we're just gonna load it up really quick and he's gonna take that small red one back to our house and then that will be it that will be the three machines that we switched up today okay you guys we are back you see the stack of money in his hands <laughs> we're gonna pay eric eric thank you for your service as always Thank you. 25, 15 tip, um, and 25. Oh, thank you guys. 
appreciate it. This is Eric, day, you guys. Man. If you need his service, I'm gonna link down below, oh, like perfect. either your email or how can they get in contact with you? Yeah. Email or email. phone number. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, if you guys need somebody to move your machines, he's your guy. Thank, Thank you so much. You're Thank you. You too. Okay, you guys. We are obviously back home. As you can see, we now have space in our garage. This is one of the biggest reasons why we needed a garage, you guys. We needed to have space to put the machines in here. And I'm over here sideways because <laughs> he's gonna lift the camera up for me. Um, you guys, this is why we're so happy with the garage. It's like we have space, you can put the vending machine in your house. We have the bus that can be parked right there and we gotta load everything. It's just so much more convenient. But um, we're gonna figure out what's wrong with this machine and then we'll find a place for it or take it back to where it was. We will see. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. I am gonna link Eric's information down below in case you guys need a machine moved. And other than that, we will see you guys in the next video. Bye.